Well, unless the date is pushed back, Duval County students will start school in three weeks. Public records show that so far, less than 10% of Duval County families have signed their kids up for virtual options. News for Jack's High Team reporter Kelly Wiley joining us live at the school board with more. Kelly? Right, Joy, and not all the applications have been processed at this point. Parents still haven't reached the deadline for when they can make this choice, but that is correct. The majority of families have not signed their children up for these virtual learning options, and this comes as the school board has a very tough decision, and they're considering sending all students back to online app online learning. Protective screens to stop the spread of coronavirus are already set up in some Duval County schools like Kings Trail Elementary. But the plan for how students will return is still up in the air after school board members began considering a delayed start date and even returning to 100% distance learning again. As of Friday, 6,900 students enrolled in Duval County's distance learning program, Duval Homeroom. And as of today, the district has completed and processed close to 800 applications applications for the year long virtual school program. The numbers only account for less than 7% of the district students. The Duval Teachers Union President Terry Brady says it's creating a challenge for placing at risk teachers who want to remain socially distanced. Just because a teacher signs up for Duval homeroom, it doesn't mean they'll get to teach. It's like a regular classroom. You got to have enough students what we call them FTEs to generate a classroom. And in some schools you got large numbers In other schools you have zero. Brady also says hazard pay for teachers who do go into the classroom will likely not happen. Well, hazard pay, we talked about it, but I don't know where the district has the money from right now because in all due respect, I don't think there's enough money. Frankly, how do you address the fear of all of our employees? And it's real and I don't blame them. I I'm fearful too. I don't think any of our schools should be coming back until the numbers, the cases get between three and 5% of those tested. And coming up at six o'clock, we know masks are required on the bus for this upcoming school year. But what else is planned to make sure drivers and students are safe? Drivers with the local union say they're not even really getting a straight answer to that question. We'll have that coming up at six. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.